Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fall 3. This is going to be part 83. Is this part 83? Yes, it is. In the last episode, we completed the first side quest of Broken Seal. We have two more that remain, as well as two or three unmarked quests, and I think we're going to do all of it, like I said. Uh, in the last episode, we solved a uh, little problem that was going on with a cult around Megaton that was taking the Aqua Pura, the purified water and irradiating it. Why are there a hundred people talking around me? I can't even hear myself talk. Um, they irradiated it, and basically we stopped them. And they're a creepy cult. So, let's go ahead and talk to Scribe Bagsley, or Bigsley? Bigsley or Bagsley? Bigsley. And turn in this quest. There isn't someone else you could bother. I'm kind of turning in the quest that you sent me on, my friend. I've stopped the cult that was stealing Megaton's water. Cult? There's something about Megaton, isn't there? It's apparently the place to start a cult these days. I know, right? I guess I can start sending them water again. Hopefully they can keep their grubby hands on their shipments this time. Here. It's not much. Most of the assets have been exhausted, but take this. It's definitely worth getting lions off my back. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, 300 bottle caps, 130 experience. I was hoping for more. Would really like to get to level 30 by the end of this LP, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, all we really need to do is get to level 29 because then we can use the here and now perk to jump to 30, but I guess we'll see. So what's the deal with Rivet City's caravans? You can also start this side quest from Scribe Bigsley. Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. I'll see what assistance I can offer Rivet City security. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. One thing I do like, by the way, is how they made Scribe Bigsley look really, really, or look really, really burned out. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but his eyes, it just looks like he's really, really tired and stressed out. So that's a nice touch. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and end our conversation with Scribe Bigsley. Get away from these billions of conversations that are going around me. Um, and let's go ahead and actually activate this quest, although I think it's already activated. Protecting the waterway. Consult with Officer Le Pelletier at Rivet City. I don't think we've ever talked to that person yet, so I will make my way over to them. Alright, so it looks like she's not actually inside Rivet City, but she's down, or he, I guess. Yeah, it's a he. Or, no, it is a she. Okay, so she's right here. If you're looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. What if I was just like, hey, guess what? I'm the one that literally made all of this happen. That's why I'm here, actually. Bigsley sent me. Oh, he did? Huh, I was beginning to think he forgot about us. Not sure how much you know. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravans. Seems organized, and not just the random raider or mutant encounter. I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. I want to get to the bottom of these coordinated attacks. The sooner, the better. It sounds like you could use some help. What do you need? Great. I can really use a strong arm on this one. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If, or rather when, they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. Kind of reminds me of when you have to travel along the Gold Coast and the Mages Guild in Oblivion. Um, and get attacked by the bandit witch, or whatever that was. You sound pretty certain this particular caravan will be attacked. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. Um... If we do get attacked and I do find a ringleader, then what? After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations, and put an end to it, once and for all. Okay. Alright, I'll protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. 
If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. I will try my best, ma'am. Goodbye. Okay. Meet with Officers Davis and Lauren along the river north of Project Purity. Let's see where these two gentlemen are hanging out. Hey, look. It's north of Project Purity. What is close? The Lincoln Memorial is, but something tells me if we go there, we will be locked into D.C. and we will not be able to go near them. So... Tepid sewers, though, are on the outside. Are you kidding me? I'm in Rivet City. Who the hell is near me? Oh, my God. Well, I hate that. Like, I really hate that. Ugh. Okay. Let's head to, like I said, the Tepid sewers and hopefully meet up with these two dudes. All right. So, I do see a scuffle ahead. Let's go ahead and go into Vats and see who we have here. Officer Davis, and he's pretty low. That's not good. And what's also not good is that we have no one else in sight. Holy water has worn off. Wow. <laughs> That's good to know, because that was in the last episode. Alright, look at, looks like they were able to hold off, but uh, looks like everybody's dead, except for Officer Davis here. They came, they came out of nowhere. I need to get back to report to La Pelletier. She'll want to know what happened. Uh, thanks for the help. Yeah, no problem. I definitely helped you. Um, I didn't. That's kind of weird that you said that. Let's search this Brahmin. He's got 19 things of Aqua Pura, which as you can see is just HP plus 20. We are not going to take that. We have a bandit here. New meeting place. That looks important. Let's see. Who are you? Water caravan driver. With a bunch of caps. And... A me no, I didn't want to take the missile launcher. You can have that back dead body. What else do you have? Shotgun shells. Two storm chaser hats. You can never have only one storm chaser hat. That's for sure. Okay. Um. Oh, it looks Bring like. We... It. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you attacking me now? What the hell? Well, I didn't want to do that, but at least we didn't lose any karma. I guess it's because I looted um, this guy and he was a part of these guys. Yeah, that must have been why, but that's weird. Didn't want that to happen, but. <laughs> oh, well, he probably would have died on the way back, anyways. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that new meeting place holo tape. Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. But you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. If you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, then you're going to be rich. Got us a plan, see? We hit the water mules with the Brotherhood busy fighting the Enclave. Soon they'll want to give up the whole delivery thing. Then we offer our protection services. Wasteland's dangerous and all. We charge them steep. On top of it, we sell the water to whoever we want. If you want in, ride out with the next ambush. Stash the water when it's done. The regulars will show you where. And then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. That, she cooks a mean stew. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. Oh, and memorize the passphrase. It's Meyerlert Stew. If you forget it, don't bother coming round. You'll get shot. No kidding. Alrighty, so let's all remember Meyer Lurk Stew, and where is this place located? Something tells me it's very close to where we are. World map, and yeah, Wilhelm's, Wilhelm's Wharf right across the way. Let's head to the Super Duper Mart. Actually, let's just take a quick dip. Alright, so I'm assuming that little shack over there by the river is indeed Wilhelm's Wharf. There's a bunch of people there that are not enemies, which is good, although they're probably, they probably are enemies. Captain Paglia, Dockside Bar and Grill. Okay. Everybody's just chilling here. Split Jack, Bandit, and a couple more doing? bandits. Just having a nice lunch. And who are you? Grandma Sparkle. Well, look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Wilms Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around. But taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. 
Uh, what are you doing? You know what? Honestly, I really don't care, Grandma Sparkle. You got a cool name, that's fine with me, but I gotta talk to Split Jack. Who the hell are you? I came for the job, you still hiring guns? I'm here to send you and your gang into retirement. Got any last words? I'm nobody you need worry need to worry about. I'm your worst nightmare, say nothing. I came for the job, you still hiring guns? Huh. You're one of the newbies then. Fine. So long as you know the passphrase, you're in. If not, you're dead. The passphrase, huh? You mean Meyer Lurk Stew? Okay, you're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in, don't really care. This is a real simple game. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Oh, and put this on. We're a gang. We all wear the same uniform. Hmm. Metal armor. You know, I've never been particularly fond of metal armor. I could blow this guy's brains out right now and then do the same to all these guys, but kind of want to see how this plays out. So you know what? Why don't we go ahead and stash our weapon and do so. Let's go into items, apparel, metal armor, and metal helmet, I guess. And now we look like this. Wait. No, that's me. <laughs> I was like, why do, why, why does my face look a little bit different? Get out of my face. Okay, so let's talk to Split Jack again. Take a seat and relax already. You're making me nervous. So, what's the score? No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stashed the Aquapura. And after Rivet City's had enough. Okay, they're not gonna pay you to protect something they're giving away for free. I'm the boss of this gang. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just go ahead and kill these people. Let's go ahead and first... Put back my cool stuff on, because this stuff is not cool, and I'll just drop this stuff just to insult him. And, uh, you can have this. Oh, I was gonna say, are they gonna attack me or not? Alright, so one for you, and one for you. Pop goes the weasel! That's like the 800th time I've said that. But whatever, sometimes it comes out naturally before I can stop myself. And imagine what's going through this guy's head right now. I'm just laughing as he's shooting me. Ha 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 ha! Bye bye. Um, yeah, I think we put a stop to Split Jack and his gang. What do you guys think? I don't know where Grandma Sparkles went. Probably inside the shack. Let's go ahead and search Split Jack, see if he has anything interesting. Uh, doesn't look like it. You disappoint me, Split Jack. What does our quest say? Report to Officer Le Pelletier that the job is done. Hopefully she's not going to be mad that I killed uh, one of her officers, but he sort of just started shooting me, you know? And that wasn't cool. I sort of had to defend myself, so that's all I can really say about that. Alright, we're back on this giant weird bridge thing that leads into Rivet City. Let's drop down and talk to Officer Le Pelletier. Hello. Water caravan check-in. Okay. What are you doing? Let me talk to you. Well... Did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? Uh, a guy named Split Jack. Not to worry, he's dead now. And what in the world is going on with the background there? Console version of Fallout 3. <laughs> a guy named Split Jack. Not to worry, he's dead now. Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. What do you mean you'll make arrangements? Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh, run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. Now, if you'll excuse me... Lucky for you, the best reward is keeping the wasteland safe. Ask Bisley for a reward for helping Officer Officer Lapelletier at Rivet City. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the Jefferson. Mmm, you kidding me? Who? Who is it? Who's over there? Who's in that building, like on the third floor, just chilling? That's super annoying. Like literally, like if I walk two feet to the left, it allows me to fast travel. For those of you that had no idea what I was just talking about, it was not letting me fast travel because enemies were nearby. It's like, what in the hell are they doing there? 
You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it would have been cool if you could have been a ghoul, but then I just realized, you know, it wouldn't have made sense given the story that you were born in the vault. But, like, I just read a thing on the loading screen that said ghouls are not only immune to radiation, they're healed by it or something like that. So it would just be like a unique perk or something. Um, and it would be kind of cool, and different dialogue options would be available, but of course it wouldn't make sense with the current game's story mode, considering, like I said, you were born in a vault. Whoops. Whoa, that's cool. I guess they added a unique animation to this DLC, because I've never seen anybody do that, like, lay down like that. That was really cool. Okay, anyways. Is there something else? Officer LaPelletier said you'd be rewarding me. Yes, yes, I received a message from her. It's here somewhere. And, well, no matter where it is, I know what it said. <sighs> the Initiates just finished itemizing a requisition of confiscated Enclave gear. There were a few items that we didn't immediately send out. I suppose you're welcome to those. The Brotherhood thanks you for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just take a brief nap here at my desk. Okay, so we've been given a Gatling laser, 33 electron charge packs, a plasma pistol, 16 energy cells, Enclave power armor, and how the hell Enclave power helmet, and it looks like that's it. And this woman's talking to this guy yet again. Like, stop talking to him when I'm in there, please. Let's go into items and take a look at this stuff um, and actually drop a lot of it. Gatling laser, yeah, not going to use that. Let's go into apparel and drop the power armor and the power helmet. I mean, I don't even know why that's a reward considering we had to go through so many Enclave just to get here. Like, you can loot better armor from all of them. So, um, yeah. Anyways, there's one more side quest, but I don't think you started from Bigsley, but let's just see. Is there something else? So, let's just see here blah 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 so you guys have something set up on the side I know you've got something set up don't worry I won't tell your supporters Look, it's not that I don't trust you I'm capable of discretion now, what is going on but <clears throat> uh-huh okay so you guys have something set up on the side yep okay I have some questions about this where's dr. Lee so why are you calling it whatever I don't really care let's just ask a billion questions about water one of the main reasons I don't like the main quest even though because your mission is really important it's like it all has to deal with purifying water and it seems problem. not grand on a giant um, doesn't seem like it doesn't seem grand what am I trying to say here it, it doesn't seem like it's a big I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and abandon whatever I'm trying to say because I can't word it right. Mind if I ask some questions about your role in all of this? Okay. So it looks like, yes, we are indeed done with Scribe Spigsley. That's all I was trying to figure out during that whole rant of nothing, basically. Um, Alright, so we do have one more side quest, and I believe it has to do with Underworld, if I remember right. And we will handle that in the next episode, and then we'll probably get the miscellaneous stuff done as well. And then we've only got two main quests left, and it's over for this Fallout Let's Play. Thank you for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grovana, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.